Hi, this is Gene Ireland from Lenore Tech, and we're going to explain how to install the batteries in your unit. It's very simple. When you receive the unit, it comes in two boxes, one containing the OTG solar generator, and the other box contains two batteries, which is very heavy. So we should ship, separate, uh, ship them separately because we want to make sure the unit doesn't get damaged if, if there's some mishandling. So we're going to show you how to install the batteries. It's fairly simple. Okay, to start the process you need to have a Phillips screwdriver, number two, and it's always helpful to have a small pair of needle nose so that we can get the terminals onto the edge of the, onto uh, the wires onto the terminals. So what we're going to do is first take the case off. So let me move the batteries out of the way. Move my tools. Now when the, when the batteries are shipped you get uh, a booklet, pamphlet for instructions and you also get power cord for recharging the unit using the 110 home outlet and you get this battery spacer with it as well which will help secure and make the batteries tight once we assemble it. So right now we're going to remove the case screws go through the feet and it's helpful to have a magnetic tip uh, Phillips head and that will be self-evident once we get inside the case because we're going to have to remove the battery straps in order to get the batteries into the battery tray. Again, the unit is, is very serviceable. It's designed so that uh, the parts can be replaced fairly, fairly easily. They're all made with high quality components, all handmade here in Winston-Salem. Now to get the cover off, you just want to gently pluck, start in one corner and just pry it off. So it pops. Now when you open the case, the LED light is attached with a, um, to a harness. So we want to flip it, in this case, towards me. And you can see that the harness is connected to the board on the inside. Typically you can just lay it flat or uh, to make it easier, when you pull the harness off, there's a little clip you press and it separates the top from the base case. And here is the unit, here are the battery straps, this is where the batteries sit and here are the, the uh, connectors to connect each battery. Okay, now that we have the case open, okay. we can have access to the two battery straps and each of the straps has a screw located at the top that we have to undo yeah, to remove everything. the straps. And this is where having a magnetic tip uh, Phillips head screwdriver would be very helpful because you don't have to try to reach in there and grab it. If I pull up and, and help it along, keep that screw, then I can remove them both. And the screw re is retained on the edge of the Phillips. So remove both of the straps. We take our batteries and the, each battery has a label on it saying this side up and that guarantees that you don't put the batteries in uh, in the wrong way. So I'm going to start with putting this one on this side. I'm going to take the next battery and kind of sit it up on its edge like that. Now I'm going to take the the rubber piece that comes with it and we're going to insert it in between. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be somewhat in between and then I'll force the battery together and then I, I usually use the screwdriver to kind of help it down in there. And that gives us a nice tight fit inside the case. <clears throat> now the next part is to go ahead and, and I like to put the negative, which are the black leads, onto the black terminal. So you notice on the battery there's a very bright red mark on the battery to, to indicate the positive 
positive is always going to be closest to you and there's a very large red patch there. You want to make sure that you correctly connect them because you can cause damage if you put the, neg the negative on the positive lead and vice versa. So this is where I use my needle nose and help push those on. Now when I grab them, I grab them on the throat of the actual connector. So that way I'm not doing it on the wire and I'm not doing it on the spade lug or the, uh, the connector itself so I don't damage that. I do it right on the throat. That way I can easily slide the connector on onto the terminal. And I do the same thing on the next battery. It's a little bit tight down there so using the needle nose is very helpful. Same thing here. And it also saves on wear and tear on your fingers too if you do a lot of these. Now that we have it connected, now I can go ahead and insert the straps. Put it into the little... So we're going to start by actually putting it in under the wires, making careful we don't trap the wires. And then I'm going to lay it down and I have to put a little bit of pressure to, to snap it in to help get it inside the, uh, the slot. I check to see that the hole is lined up and that the wires aren't trapped underneath the strap and then using my Phillips head I can then insert it into oops and this is why the magnetic tip is good line the strap up so I can see the mounting hole the screw, screw hole and then gently you don't have to over tighten these, just make it snug. Again, I'm going to move the wires out of the way, gently tip it down there, make sure that I don't have any wires trapped underneath the strap. And I align the hole. this one in. I can feel it grab, get a little bit tight, and then just snug it a little bit. There, we've completely assembled the batteries in place, and they're nice and snug. First thing I, uh, we need to do is to attach the LED light to its power source. So uh, I'll put the case on the edge of the handle and kind of lean against it to hold it up and then find that sweet spot where that connector is. It's, it's idiot proof so you can't put it in the wrong way. So now that we have that connected I'm just going to flip this over and align the cover so that it will fall into place. You check all around the edges to make sure that it is seated properly. Then we take the feet and the screws and insert them into each corner. Now these don't need to be over tightened either, so I just bring it down till it meets the foot and then I screw it in until I start to feel the resistance. You don't want to over tighten those. And you do that for each of the corners. Be gentle to get it started and screw it in until you start to feel some resistance, and then just a little couple turns. I'm just using very light feel on the Phillips head screwdriver. If you're used to working on motorcycles and cars, you can. This really is just a few inch pounds that, uh, of resistance. So, so it goes in there pretty easily to a point, meets the foot, and then I can start to feel the ten tension and then just give it a couple more twists. As long as the cover is seated properly and there are no gaps around the edges, we're good. Now I can 
see that the battery is connected correctly. I'm going to turn on the power supply, the battery, and I can see the system boot up and I know that everything's connected correctly. There's an indication we got good power. And that's all there is to getting it ready for operation.